2008, the remarkable period when we saw the global financial crisis, the market slipped and you know I was on a free fall. We saw the big decline. And that big decline happened after five years of relentless rise of the market. In the life of mutual fund insight, we started with the good times, are the good times gone? And that was the beginning of the good times for equity and the decline of the debt funds. And till 2008, January, the market just kept going up. It went up from something like 2,800 points to 20,000 points. And everybody became a believer of that markets can only go up. And then the global financial crisis happened. The market was in a free fall. The market fell by 50%. Market fell by 50% in the next, you know, till October from January 27th, which was the market's peak. By October 2008, the market went down. And in August 2008, before the market hit its lowest point, we spotted some popular funds which had declined big time, which had, which had you know, fallen way too freely. And uh, we came up with a cover story. That was a cover story which actually hurt us quite a bit as a business. As a business, so happened that you know, we came up with a cover story which was the dirty dozen. These were the funds which had lost investors' money substantially. All these funds were, which we mentioned were very important advertisers for us. And uh, I was the editor of this magazine and um, I cleared this story. The story was done very passionately. The conclusion was that the money is gone and they are, un they are not in a state. And these funds will struggle going by the very design, going by the very style. They are unlikely to make a big comeback. And that turned out to be true. We did that cover story. The Dirty Dozen came out and that led to the exodus of some very important advertisers forever. We regretted that, but we feel very happy that uh, we were able to inform investors well in time or even after the decline to bail out, bail out of those and uh, take the lesson.